welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't hesitate to click on the subscribe button in the red down below and join the family and today i'm back with a new video yeah you know what is it about i'll be sharing on all the hacks the tips and all the necessary things that you need to do to ensure that you're having a smoothly hair growth no more retarded growth less breakage or no breakage at all and if you want to know stick to the end of this video i love natural hair to me natural hair is not just hair natural hair to me is my identity it's a statement it has made me confident and it has also given me so much things to look on myself have 15 points on where I'm explaining on all the things that you need to do to make sure your hair is growing so if you've been hustling for so long I have been there I've done so much so many mistakes I've messed up with my hair so many times but it came to a point I was noting down in everything that was not working for me and moved to the next thing that worked for me so and it doesn't matter what is the length of your hair right now? You might be having a very short uh, afro or you are having already the longest one. These points works for everybody. These tricks are for everyone. If you are, you are natural, you have deci decided to go natural, you are going for a big chop to start your natural hair journey, kindly take these things into consideration. And results are inevitable. You got to do it. Trust me, it worked for me so it will work for you too what i'm going to spill right now it's a bomb so what you need to do is grab yourself a pen and have yourself a diary so make sure you jot these points down in swahili there's a saying that we say mali bila daftari huisha bila habari so you really need to learn how to put things down you need to record your shadow for the hair activity and it will assist you to know the procedures and the things, what is working for you, what is not working for you, which was the bad thing, how did you do what. It will help you so much. It's not hard. Well, have this behavior of putting things down in writing and it will assist so, you. So I'm about to get serious here and share these points with you and I hope everyone is taking these things into account and you're going to make use of them. Point number one is using of a satin or silk scarf. You really need to use this kind of material to protect your hair. The reason behind it is because it doesn't absorb too much of the things from your hair. Use this one as you're running some errands in the house or you're just having no activity, you wanna just stay over on the couch and everything. Wrap this around your hair. Protect that moisture from your hair. Protect the oils from your hair. And also it's hygienic. Like, imagine your hair is full of conditioners and everything. And then you go on the couch. You sit without this one. It will all move to the couch. Because it's going to absorb all the, uh, the oils and all the ingredients from your hair. And hence you're going to have dry hair. Another thing is, ditch a towel. Instead of using a towel to dry your hair, some use uh, a cotton t-shirt but i would ask you to use this kind of material after washing your hair wrap this type of material on your hair and it will absorb only the necessary water and leave your hair a bit moist and humid which makes it more easy and manageable when it comes to styling it as we move to point number two i'll talk about investing in good products what are the good products? I don't mean expensive products. Invest in the products that suit your hair. 
and when you're buying products ensure you go for the products that are having the first ingredient as water like water should be the first ingredient of the product that will work so well when it comes to our afro i hope you get me that one and another thing is to top up with the same point of the products make sure you invest in a good shampoo a good conditioner a good leave-in conditioner and also a good oil you really need to work on those things uh, moving to point number three uh, I will talk about trimming your ends the earlier the better trim your ends because as the ends are not well trimmed they tend to destroy the healthy air the healthier so when you're having the tangles and you're having all the ends that are having knots, make sure you get a professional advice, a professional service. And why am I saying that? I did the trimming myself in January and the results are one side of my hair is shorter than the other. I hope you can see that because I know where I did it and I know how I did it and it did not go well. So seek professional service for somebody to do it for you. Eventually, they are going to do justice to your hair. Point number four, use protective styles to, pro to prevent breakage and to prevent tangling to your hair. What are these type of protective styles? I would urge you to go for cornrows, to go for uh, flat twists, to go for twist outs and all the styles that are gentle to your hair. If you be doing braids, at least have some time from the first to like, if you finish the braids, let's say in three weeks, don't do immediately another type of braid because it's going to damage your hair. And you, you imagine the heaviness of the braid to the normal hair. It doesn't, it depends on the type of hair that you have, but still you have to take in, uh, you need to take an account that braids do weigh so much the hair and hence breakage and if you're doing braids or anything else make sure the person doing your hair really cares for your edges because we have a number of ladies whereas their edges are gone reason being being having so heavy hairstyles and being pulled so tight and hence breaking the hair Point number five, I'll talk about uh, personal hygiene when it comes to the hair equipments. As you wash your hair, make sure your combs, your brushes, and anything that you use for your hair is well washed. And do it every day, after, at every day. I mean every session, like after the wash and the treatments and the sectioning and everything, make sure you do clean all the items that you use for your hair. And by that, it will give you a chance to take a look on the combs if they're having split ends or they are damaged because a comb that is having a, how do you call it? A, <coughs> a comb that is having a crack is going to, go, to cause a breakage and damage to your hair. So be careful on the things that you use on your hair, whether it's combs, it's a... Uh, brushes make sure they are all well maintained and they're in good shape point number six is about healthy eating have a balanced diet learn to eat balanced diet too much junkies will not help you much when it comes to natural hair drink a lot of water you need hydration in the body so are the hair Good hair start from the inside. So as good skin. I don't want to spill the tea for the skin. And point number seven is about water. What type of water do we use for washing your hair, rinsing conditioners and everything else? So when you are washing your hair with shampoo, use warm water to rinse off the shampoo and like massage your scalp open up the cuticles make sure everything is well cleansed after you finish shampooing and the cuticles are open 
you apply conditioner. While using con conditioner, the next thing you need to use is cold water. Remember, during shampooing, you use warm water. And when it comes to doing conditioner, you are supposed to use cold water. Reason behind is cold water is going to seal the cuticles back because they opened up when you are scratching with the conditioner. They were so when you're going when to you're use shampooing. cold water, you're going to close the cuticles and also it allows some of the products to remain with the hair. If you use hot water or warm, not hot, who will use hot water? <laughs> if you use warm water, it will cleanse away everything. So work done equals two, zero. Point number eight, I would urge you to do a number of treatments. You need to use protein treatments, you need to do moisture treatments, and also you need to do oil treatments. I'm going to explain one after the other. Protein treatment, I personally use the DIY, and this DIY it consists of eggs, honey, I'm sorry if you're allergic or you're, I don't know, you become, you're, you have an egg smell for me, I don't know how you call it. And then I use uh, essential oils, I use avocado, and then I put mayonnaise, I blend together, and then apply to my hair. And my hair are always soft. I do it once per month. The second thing is a moisture, moisture treatment. <laughs> Why is my tongue twisting itself? Moisture treatment. Moisture treatment, I do it using the uh, bottle uh, masks. I hope you understand. For example, I use uh, one minute. I'll be back. So, when it comes to moisture treatment, I use this type of treatments. For example, this one is from TJN, which is Thank God is Natural. It's very good. And also, nowadays, I use this one most of the time. So, these are examples of the moisture treatment that I use for my hair. Continuing to the next point, the oil treatment. No, the, it's the same point. The oil treatment. How do I do the oil treatments? I apply oil to my hair. Let's say I apply jojoba oil and then I wear a plastic cup. I do it overnight most of the time. When it comes to my hair, I'm never in hurry because it takes a number of, uh, how do you call it? It takes a uh, courage to be able to grow your hair uh, that whenever you just like, do a wash and go, you don't see the length, but actually this is the length of my hair. So it's below the collarbone. Point number nine, I would ask you to use apple cider vinegar to rinse your hair. Apple cider vinegar has a number of benefits to your hair because it helps you to, it helps you to get rid of uh, each scalp and also it brings the sheen to the hair and try but make sure you dilute it let's say you're using let's say one liter of water try to use at least three to four spoons of apple cider vinegar it's very nice point number 10 when detangling your hair to detangle is when you're working on how do I say it? I want to use another word. I'm going to use Swahili. While unachambua nyele zako, make sure you do it while your hair is still wet. What does that help? While your hair is wet, it's very easy to manage. And then, this is when you can detangle your hair properly. And while detangling, use your fingers as a starting point. Fingers first, wide tooth comb second, and then you can finish up with the brush. And you start from the top, like you start opening your hair from the top slowly, going down to the root. And when you are doing the, how do you call it? Sorry, point number 10. 
Point number 10. Before doing a shampooing and washing of your hair, try to use water and oils. So you have removed your protective hair styling and then now you want to go for an, a wash. Use oils and also use uh, water to detangle your hair before shampooing it. Point number 12, I want to be faster right now. No heat, no heat. I know there's a notion built up behind when it comes to natural hair, especially when you go to the salons and you want to do your hair, let's say you want to braid your hair. And I go like this, they'll start asking me, so you need to dry your hair first. So instead of doing that, try to get home yourself some remedies that will help you to straighten your hair without using heat. One of them is threading. And if you don't know how to thread your hair, try to use Mabutu. And after you do the three, stand, three strands, yes, is this three strand twist? Is two strand twist? Three strand twist, if that is the word. So after you've done Mabutu and then you remove them, your hair will be straight. You can even comb them through and then go to do your hair. Instead of going with your natural hair and causing so much drama at the saloon, as what they know is they need to do what? To broad dry your hair. Uh, honestly speaking, uh, the last time I did broad dry my hair was in 2017. You can't believe. And if I kept on broad drying my hair, I would have never reached the length of the hair that I have today. Black girl magic needs some protection and heat is not one of them. So point number 13, while conditioning your hair, try to massage the skin the scalp do it slowly with the movement as if you're playing a guitar like slowly slow that will help to stimulate the blood flow and hence stimulates the hair growth simple tricks works point number 14 kindly stop using chemicals stop using chemicals on your hair no relaxers and no dyes like why are you betraying me why are you using that sis naturalistas you really need to stick on the routines that will protect your hair and relaxers and dyes are not one of them i know we really like putting the yellow thing the green the next minute you want to be blonde if you really want to love this kind of thing to change your hair color, at least you can use henna, but not relaxers and not dyes. They break your hair. No curl kit. They will break your hair. Point number 15, I'll stick on the hairstyles. Nowadays we have this hairstyle called uh, uh, crochet braids. And people are doing it so wrong, so, so wrong. Don't do hairstyles that they are pulling your edges, they are pulling your hair and causing so much damage to your natural hair. Sis, you need to protect that crown. It needs you. And some of the hairstyles are not good once they are done the wrong way. Same applies to the braids. Like if somebody's doing braids and they start doing your braids from here, like seriously, somebody's pulling this hair to the braid. At the end of the day, your hair will start, your hairline will start from here. I told you, don't say I did not say it. And the last point, it's not in the numbers. It's just an individual point. I'm going to let you know, you have to be patient, extremely patient. I really want to share my hair, my natural hair journey as I started, but that has to be a separate video. This one is going to be the longest video I've ever created, but I'm going to tell you again, don't have, you don't need to have a such a how do you say uh you know when you're having like the bigger imagination of when it when of natural hair which is not a reality try to have a uh, attainable goals when it comes to your hair 
I used to love having long hair. That's the picture I had. Those the people I've seen online that are broadcasting their hair are super long. But trust me, we have different hair types. We have different structure. Our gen gen genetical order is different. So we have different way of growing our hair. But the only thing I promise you, having healthy hair is something that everyone can achieve. Start investing in having healthy hair. You know what will happen? Long hair will come. But you really need to know how to retain the length to avoid breakage, to avoid damage. And these are the things that they're not too much. Like if you need to, to take them into account and work on them, next year, time like now, we'll be starting and speaking a new song. It's never too late to stick to the right procedures. And it's never too late to start afresh and do the right thing. Thank you so much, guys, for coming over and listening me to the end. If you did listen to the end, you'd not skip anywhere. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. And thank you so much for supporting me. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel down below. And watch other videos. Share with your friends if you like these tips. And also, do the right thing. Do it on time. Natural hair journey.